And Jeremiah the prophet may his blessings with us, amen. For behold, I will send serpents among you, vipers which cannot be charmed, and they shall bite you, says the Lord. I would, com I would comfort myself in sorrow, and my heart is faint in me. Listen the voice, the cry of the daughter of my people from a far country. Is it not the Lord in Zion? Is it not her, ki is it not her king in her? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, I am hurt. I am mourning, astonishment has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Galilee? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no recovery for the, for the heat of the, of the daughter of my people? Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes were a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place from, a far, from far warding men, that I might leave my people and go from them. For there, were, for there are all adult, adulterers and assemblies of treacherous men, and like their bow they have bent their tongues for lies. They are not valiant for the truth on the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, says the Lord. Everyone take heed to his neighbour, and do not trust any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbour will walk with slanderers. Everyone will deceive his neighbour and will not speak the truth, and they t and they they have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Your in your habitation is in the midst of deceit, through deceit they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Glory be to the Lord, to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The praise of the first hour of the eve of the Friday of the holy Vesper may its blessings be with us all. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, thy is the kingdom, the power and glory of heaven and ever. Kyrie eleison, thor teti gong nem pio nem presmo nem piama shai ne mi ne menu il penoti penoro thok teti gong nem pio nem presmo nem piama shai ne mi preshoi si sos pe Christos pe sotir navathos tagom nem pares mo bib shoi sab sho Pinif so tire if o a thok te tigom nem pio nem pesmo nem pia ma shai ne amin thok te tigom nem pio nem pesmo nem pia ma shai ne amin emano ipen noti ben oro thok te tigom nem pio nem pesmo nem pia ma shai ne
come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory forever and ever. Psalm of the
I get up so men so fair or they are cause men to argue. Blessings be with us all. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. My enemies reproach me all day long, and those who deride me swear an oath against me. on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel. A chapter from the holy gospel according to Saint John the evangelist and pure disciple. May his blessings be said to the Jews, where I am going you cannot come. So now I say to you, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. Jesus answered him, Will you lay down your life for my sake? Most assuredly I say to you, The rooster shall not crow till you have denied me three times. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also, and where I go you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes.
comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also, and from now on you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you a little while longer, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me, because I live, you will live also. And that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas Iscariot said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. So
from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John, the evangelist and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all, Amen. But the help of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father. For my Father is greater than I, and now I have told you before it comes, that when it does come to pass, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. And he has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the true, for I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing, if anyone does not abide in me. He is cast out as a branch, and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do then whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you, you did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you these things. 
things I command you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake. Because they do not know him who sent me, if I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would have no sin. But now they have seen and also hated both me and my father. But this happened that the world might that the word might be fulfilled, which is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. Chapter from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John, the evangelist, apostle, and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. But when the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth. Who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me, and you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. Then these things I have spoken to you, that you should not be made to stumble, they will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he offers God service. And these things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things that I have told you that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I did not say to you at the beginning, because I was with you. But now I go away to him who sent me. And none of you asks, asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send them to you. But when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin. Because they do not believe in me of righteousness, because I go to my Father 
and you see me no more of judgment because the rule of this world is judged i still have many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now however when he the spirit of truth has come he will guide you into all truth for he will not speak on his own authority but whatever he hears he will speak and he will tell you tell you things to come he will glorify me for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you all things that the father has are mine therefore i said that he will take of mine and declare it to you a little while longer a little while and you will not see me and a little while and you will see me because i go to the father then some of his disciples said among themselves what is this that he says to us a little while and you will not see me and a little and again a little while and you will see me and because i go to the father they said therefore what is this that he says a little while we do not we do not know what he is saying now jesus knew that they desired to ask him and he said to them are you inquiring among yourselves about what i said a little one you will not see me and again a little one and you will see me must i show that i say to you that you will weep and lament but the world will rejoice and you will be sorrowful but your sorrow will be turned into joy a woman when she is in labor as sorrow because her hour has come but as soon as she has given birth to the child she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has born into the world therefore you now have sorrow <clears throat> but i will see you again and your heart will rejoice and your joy no one will take from you and in that day you will ask me nothing must i show you i say to you whatever you ask the father in my name he will give you until now you have asked nothing in my name ask can you receive that your joy may be full these things i have spoken to you in figurative language but the time is coming when i will no longer speak to you in figurative language but i will tell you plainly about the father in that day you will ask in my name and i do not say to you that i shall pray the father for you for the father himself loves you because you have loved me and i believe that i come forth from god i came forth from the father and have come into the world again i leave the world and go to the father his disciple said to him see now you are speaking plainly and using no figure of speech 
now we are sure that you know things and have no need that anyone should question you. By this we believe that you came forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do you not believe in the hour is coming? Yes, has now come that you will be scattered, each to his own, and will leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the evangelist and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son also may glorify you as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given to him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do, and now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I have with you before the world was. I have manifested your name to the men you have given me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they have known that all things which you have given me are from you. For I have given to them the words which you have given me, and they have received them, and know known surely that I came forth from on you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours, and all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world. But these things are in the world, and I come to you. Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you have given me, I have kept. And none of them is lost except the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I come to you, and these things I, things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not all of the world. 
just as I am not of the world, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also may be sanctified by the truth. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and the glory which you gave me I have given them, that they may be one just as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be perfect in one, that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you also gave me, may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which you have given me. For you loved me before the foundation of the world, O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you sent me, and I have declared to them by your name, and will declare it, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. Glory to you. of the third hour of the eve of the Friday of the Holy Basque, may his blessings be with us all, amen. From Ezekiel the prophet, may his blessings be with us all, amen. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwell in their own land, they defiled it by their own ways and deeds. To me their way was like the uncleanness of a woman in her customary impurity. Therefore I poured out my fury on them, for the blood they had, they had shed on the land, and for their idols with which they had defiled it. So I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed throughout the countries. I judged them according to their ways of their deeds. When they came to the nations, wherever they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of the Lord, and yet they have gone out of this land. But I had concern for my holy name, <coughs> which the house of Israel had profaned amongst the nations wherever they went. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I do not... I do not do this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the nations wherever you went. And I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall, shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when I am hallowed in you before their eyes. Glory be to God. Choice, neither choice, the praise of the third hour of the Friday Eve of the Holy Pascha, may his blessings be with us all, Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, Christ in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, thy kingdom, the power and glory of the Lord.
تیبن آروس وقت تیگم نم بی او نم بس مو نم بی آمای شاینی امین بشوی سی سوس پرستوس بس و تیرن آقا سوس تاگم نم با ازمو بی افشوی سر شوپینی افسو تیری اف او و وقت تیگم نم بی او نم بس مو نم بی آمای شاینی امین
Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, our Christ is in the power of God forever and ever.
Hazrat teacher David the Prophet and the King. May his blessings be with us all. Amin. Do not keep silent, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me with worthy to listen to your holy gospel a chapter from the holy gospel according to saint matthew the evangelist and pure disciple may his blessing be said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered and said to him, Even a fool are made to stumble because of you. I will never be made to to him, Assuredly I say to you that this night, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. Christ twice, 
you'll deny me three times. But he spoke more vehemently, if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all said likewise, Oshtem Bevangelion, Eth Oem Kanta, Markonageion, Doxasi. disciples over the brook Kidron where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered and, and Judas who betrayed him also knew the place for Jesus often met there with his disciples glory to you Ezekiel the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. 
And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, say to her, You are a land that is not cleansed or rained on in the day of indignation. The conspiracy of her prophets in her midst is like a roaring lion tearing the prey. They have devoured people. They have taken treasure and precious things. They have made many widows in her midst. Her priests have violated my law and profaned my holy things. They have not distinguished between the holy and unholy, nor have they made known the difference between the unclean and the clean. And they have hidden their eyes from my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her princes in her midst are like wolves tearing the prey, to shed blood, to destroy people, and to get dishonest gain. Her prophets blasted them with untempered water, seeing false visions, and divining lies for them, saying, Thus says the Lord God, when the Lord had not spoken. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The praise of the sixth hour of the eve of the Friday of the Holy Pascha, may its holy blessings be with us all. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Via leison. Fog te tigo omnipio, nempes monem pia maisha. Ne amine manuil pen noti pen orotho. Fog te tigo omnipio, nempes monem pia maisha. Ne amine pechoi si sos pe Christos. Pesotir en agathos. Tago omnem pa es mobi epchoi sepcho. Nie sotir e ia. If all well, talk to Tigom, Nempio, Nempis, Monempia, my shine, I mean, talk to Tigom, Nempio, Nempis, Monempia, my shine, I mean, a man who had been naughty, been horrible, talk to Tigom, Nempio, Nempis, Monempia, my shine, I mean, Bashoi, see, so specristos. Pesotir na vatos tago Nemba es mo bib Shoi sab shobi ne yev sotir e yev Evo ev thug te tigom Nembi o nembiz mo nembi a mai shai nemi Thug te tigom Nembi o nembiz mo nembi a mai shai nemi Nemen o il pen noti ben moro Christos, 
Besotir in Arathos Tagum, in Paismo Bib, choice of shopping, if so, Tirea, if over, for Tetigum, in Pion, in Pismonium, my shy near me, for Tetigum, in Pion, in Pismonium, my shy near Joy. 
Uh... 
evangelist and pure disciple, may his blessings be with us. Then Jesus came with them to, to a place called Gethsemane. And said to the disciples, Sit him while I go and pray over there. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. And he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, oh, oh, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, nevertheless not as I will, but as you will. Then he came to the disciples and found them asleep, and said to Peter, What could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again a second time and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if this cup cannot pass away from me, unless I drink from it, your will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. So he left them, went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, oh. At hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, he who betrays me is at hand. Nevertheless, 
not what I will, but what you. And said to Peter, Simon, are you sleeping? Could you not watch one hour, watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation? The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away and prayed, and spoke the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And they did not know what to answer him. Then he came the third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? It is enough. Ah, ah, ah. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Lest you enter into temptation, 
of troops and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees came there with lanterns, torches and weapons. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that would come upon him, went forward and said to them, Whom are you seeking? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he, and Judas, who betrayed him, also stood with them. Then when he said to them, I am he, Ask them again, whom are you seeking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Therefore, if you seek me, let these go their way, that the saying might be fulfilled of which he spoke of those who you gave me, I have lost none. Glory to you. first thing we ever did in that English church was to pray the ninth hour of the Friday Eve of the Basha. And that was in 21 years ago. And I always felt, we didn't plan this, but I always felt the words of that last gospel that we just read were very appropriate. Therefore, if you seek me, let these go their way. And then we took the young people and we went our way to the English church. I hope that we can find Christ. So I just thought I'd mention that. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. The prophecy of the ninth hour of the Friday in the Holy Basket. May its blessings be with us all. Amen. From Jeremiah the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will, I will refine them and try them. For how shall I deal with the daughter of my people? Their tongue is an arrow shot out. It speaks deceit. One speaks peace, peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth. But in his heart he lies in wait. Shall I, shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? Shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? I will take up a weeping and wailing for the mountains and for, and for the dwelling places of the wilderness and lamentation, because they are burned up, so that no one can pass through, nor can man hear the voice of the cattle. Both the birds of the heavens and the beasts have fled. They are gone. I will make Jerusalem to a heap of ruins, a den of jackals. I will make the city, cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also from Ezekiel, the prophet, may his blessing be with us all. Amen.
And you, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God concerning the Ammonites and concerning their reproach, and say, A sword, a sword is drawn, polished for slaughter, for consuming, for flashing. While they see false visions for you, while they see divine, while they divine a lie to you, to bring you on the necks of the wicked, the slain whose day has come, whose iniquity shall end, return it to its sheath. I will judge you in the place where you were created, in the land of your nativity. I will pour out my indignation on you. I will blow against you with the fire of my wrath, and deliver you into the hands of brutal men who are skillful to destroy. You shall be fuel for the fire. Your blood shall be in the midst of the land. You shall not be remembered, for I, the Lord, have spoken. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. The praise of the ninth hour of the eve of the of Friday of the Holy Vesper, may its blessings be with us all. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power, and glory. Shine, I mean, 
Uh, 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 uh,
To be worthy of listening to the divine holy gospel, we ask our Lord and God, attend with wisdom to the holy of their endeavors. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Alleluia. O Lord, have pity and mercy on us and make us worthy to listen to your Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel. According to Saint Matthew, the evangelist and pure disciple, may his blessings be still speaking. Behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude, with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now his betrayer had given them a sign, saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one. Him. Then immediately he went up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And kissed him. And Jesus said to him, Friend, why have you come? Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And suddenly one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword, struck the servant of the high priest, and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword in its place, for who take the sword will perish by the sword, or do you think that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he will provide me with more than twelve legions of angels? How then could the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must happen thus? In that hour Jesus said to the multitudes, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I sat daily with you, teaching in the temple, and you did not seize me. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled, and those who had laid hold of Jesus led him away to Caiaphas the high priest. 
where the scribes and the elders were assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance to the high priest's courtyard, and he went in and sat with the servants to see the Dostempi Evangelion et Oacata Marcon Ageo Blessings be with us all, Amen. And immediately, he, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve with a great multitude, with swords and clubs, came with the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. Now his betrayer had given them a signal, saying, He is the one, take him and lead him away safely. And as soon as he had come, immediately he went up to him and said to him, Rabbi, Rabbi, and kissed him. servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you did not take me, but the scriptures might be fulfilled. Then they all forsook him and fled. Now a certain young man followed him, having a linen cloth around him and his naked body, and the young man laid hold of him, and he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. And they led Jesus away to the high priest, and with him were assembled all the chief priests, the elders, and the scribes. But Peter followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest, and he sat with the servant and warmed himself at the fire. Oh, They 
Besetrim, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And one of them struck the servant of thy priest, and cut off his right ear. But Jesus answered and said, Permit even this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priest, captains of the temple, and the elders who had come to him, have you come out as against the robber with swords and clubs? When I was with you daily in the temple, you did not try to seize me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Having arrested him, they led him and brought him into the high priest's house. But Peter followed at a distance. Now when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them, For it is a people of no understanding. Therefore, he who made them will not have mercy on them. 
and he who formed them will show them their favour. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will thresh from the channel of the river to the brook of Egypt. And you will be gathered one by one, O you children of Israel. So it shall be in that day the great trumpet will be blown. They will come, who are about to perish in the land of Assyria. And they say, Who are outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount of Jerusalem? Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which is at the head of the verdant valleys, to those who are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, like a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, like a flood of mighty waters overflowing. Who will bring them down to the earth with his hand? The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, will be trampled underfoot. And the glorious beauty is a fading flower, which is at the head of the verdant valley, like the first fruit before the summer, which an observer sees. He who eats it up while it is still in his hand. In that day the Lord of hosts will be for a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people, for a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment, and for strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. But they also have erred through, erred through wine, and through intoxicating drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through intoxicating drink. They are swallowed up by wine. They are out of the way through intoxicating drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filth. No place is clean. Whom will he teach knowledge? And whom will he make to understand the message? Those just weaned from milk. Those just drawn from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue he will speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear. But the word of the Lord was to them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, that they might go and fall backward, and be broken, and snared, and caught. Therefore hear the word of the Lord, you scornful men, who rule this people who are in Jerusalem, because you have said, we have made a covenant with death, in the Sheol we are in agreement. When the overflowing scourge passes through, it will not come to us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hidden ourselves. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The praise of the eleventh hour of the eve of the Friday of the Holy Passover, may its blessings be with us all. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, thy is the kingdom and power and glory forever and ever. Hoc tetigum nem bio nem blismo nem bia mai shai ne amine manu il pen noti pen oro so tetigum nem bio nem blismo nem bia mai shai ne amine pashoi si so stelestos peso tiren agathos tago nem pais mo bir shoi sev shopini so tiria Ephoa, Lord, 
Tigom nem bio nem bezmo nem bia mai shine min meno il benoti benoro fok te tigom nem bio nem bezmo nem bia mai shine min bashoi si sos be christos besotir aga fos tagom nem bais mo be shoise sho be ne sotir
Pesotiren agathos tagum, nem paes mobiev, shois of shopi, neef, sotiria, ev, o well, oh, tetigum, nem be o, nem besmonem, be a my, shine a mean, oh, tetigum, nem be o, nem besmonem, be a my, shine a mean, a man will be not even or. Tetigum, and be on in this morning, be a my shine in the choice. He was the first was best or till now. A post tag on them by his no be a choice of shobby nay of sotiria evo for Tetigum, and be on in this morning, be a my shine in Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, provide us the kingdom, power, and glory for ever and ever. A psalm of death.
against the Lord and against his anointed. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel. A chapter from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew, the evangelist and pure disciple, may his blessings be with testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. Even though many false witnesses came forward, they found none. But at last two false witnesses came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said to him, Do you answer nothing? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus kept silent. And the high priest answered and said to him, I adjure you by the living God that you tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, It is as you said. Nevertheless, I say to you, Hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need do we have of witnesses? Look now, you have heard his blasphemy. What do you think? They answered and said, He is deserving of death. Then they spat in his face and beat him and others struck him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy to us, Christ, who is the one who struck you? Now Peter sat outside in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him, saying, you also were with Jesus of Galilee, but he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what 
what you are saying. And when he had gone out to the gateway, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth, but again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while those who stood by came to him and said to Peter, Surely you also are one of them, because your speech betrays you. Then he began to curse and swear, saying, I do not know the man. And immediately a rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, who had said to him before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Then he went out and wept bitterly. O Oshtembe Evangelioneth Ove, Kata Markon Ageo. Prophesy, and the officers 
strike him with the palms of their hands. Now as Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are saying. And he went out on the porch, and a rooster crowed, and the servant girl saw him again, and began to say to those who stood by, this is one of them, but he denied it again. And a little later, those who stood by said to Peter again, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean, and your speech shows it. Then he began to curse and swear, I do not know this man of whom you speak. And a second time the rooster cried. Then Peter called to mind the word that Jesus had said to him. Before the rooster cried twice, you will deny me three times. And when he thought about it, he wept. Glory to Then Peter. 
Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him before the rooster crows, You will deny me three times. So Peter went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who held Jesus mocked him and beat him. And having blindfolded him, they struck him. On the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is the one who struck you? And many other things they blasphemously spoke against him. Oshtim bif angeliun eth o abka atayuhannin ageyu. Chapter from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John, the evangelist and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. Now that disciple was known to the high priest, and went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door outside. Then the other disciple, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to her who kept the door, and brought Peter in. Then that servant girl who kept the door said to Peter, You are not also one of his men. Disciples are you, he said, I am not. And the servants and officers who had made a fire of coal stood there, for it was cold and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. The high priest then asked Jesus about his disciples and his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I spoke openly to the world. I always taught in synagogues and in the temple where the Jews always met, and in secret I have said nothing. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. Indeed, they know what I said. And when he had said these things, one of the officers who stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Do you answer the high priest like that? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why do you strike me? Then Annas sent him bound to Caiaphas the high priest. Now Simon Peter stood and warned himself. Therefore they said to him, You are not also one of these disciples, are you? 
Hidden I did and said, I am no. One of the servants of the high priest, a relative of him whose ear Peter cut off, said, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter then denied again, and immediately a rooster cried. Glory to first hour of the eve of the Friday of the Holy Basca Maid's blessings be with us all. Amen. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son on earth. I have glorified you on earth because I have completed the work that you have given me and have satisfied you. What you gave me, I have given to them because I have chosen them from the world. They have accepted my word and know that I have come from you. I ask you for them and for all those who will believe in me through them. I choose them from the world. I am coming to you and I shall leave them in the world. While I was with them, I protected them and they gave them your word. O righteous Father, the world has not known you and those who have known that you have sent me and I have made your name known to them. May the love with which you have loved me be in them that they preach your grace to the Gentiles and I may be in them. These were Jesus' prayers for his disciples whom he sent to the world to bring forth plenty of fruits. Those were the shining stars that lightened up the whole world. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us that he may save us through his suffering. Let us glorify and exalt his name according to his great mercy. The commentary of the third hour. When Jesus and his disciples finished praying, they went up to the Mount of Olives. Jesus, our Saviour, started telling them openly, You all lose faith in me this night as the scriptures, as the scripture and the prophets said, I shall strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after my resurrection, I shall meet you in Galilee. Peter said, If everyone denies you, I shall not. Jesus answered him, This very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said, Even if I have to die, my Lord, I shall never de deny you. All the other disciples said the same. This was to fulfill the prophecy in the psalm, saying, God, whom I praise, break a silence, for the wicked is accusing me. Who is the wicked? None but Judas Iscariot, born in sin, who betrayed his Lord, rejected, rejected grace, and gained sin and bad inheritance. With the un unrighteous money he was paid for his crime. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his suffering. Let us glorify and exalt his name according to his great mercy. Commentary of the Sixth Hour. Jesus left the Mount of Olives with his disciples and came to a place called Gethsemane. He told them, Stay here till I go and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and started praying for his coming passion. He told them, Keep awake and pray. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed in sorrow. My father, if it is possible, let this car pass by me, but not according to my will, but as your will. He came back to the disciples and found them sleeping. He said to Peter, Could you not keep awake with me one hour? 
you should keep awake and pray that you do not enter into temptation. He went away again the second time, praying for the cup to pass, to pass him by, and prayed the same prayer for the third time. Then he came back to his disciples and told them to wake up and rise, for his betrayer is close at hand. Woe to you, Jesus, woe to you Judas, more than all other people, for many sins have multiplied. You have denied the blessing and loved evil, therefore you are cursed forever. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his suffering. Let us glorify and exalt his name according to his great mercy. The Commentary of the Ninth Hour When Jesus finished talking to his disciples about his passion, Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve disciples, came with a large number of men armed with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the leaders of the people. Judas the traitor arranged a sign with them, saying, The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. He went straight up to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, how dare you betray me with a kiss? One of the disciples pulled his sword and struck out the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Jesus said, Put away your sword, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. I can appeal to my father, and he will send me thousands of angels to defend me. When the disciples saw that, they escaped and left him with the crowd. They took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, and Peter followed at a distance and sat down at the courtyard. Woe to you, Judas, for you deserve eternal punishment. You will be cursed, and your fate will be with adulterers in hell. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his suffering. Let us glorify and exalt his name according to his great mercy. And the commentary of the eleventh hour. Listen to David, the king of Jerusalem, blaming its inhabitants, saying, Why this uproar and untruthful mutterings among the nations? All the kings of the earth rose in revolt against the Lord Christ. Through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, David knew that Jerusalem will be the place where the chief priests will gather and ask for a false witness to condemn Jesus to death. Many men gave false witnesses, but the chief priests could not find any truth in them. At last, two stepped forward and said, This man said, I have power to destroy the temple of God and in three days build it up. The high priest said, Why are you silent? If you are Christ, the Son of God, tell us. Jesus said, You have said it. The high priest tore his clothes and said, He has spoken blasphemy. We do not need any more witnesses. Meanwhile, Peter was sitting outside. A servant came up to him and said, You are a disciple to the Galilean. He said, No. Another came, saying, You are one of his followers. You are a Galilean. He denied. A third one came, saying, I have seen you with him in the garden. He denied again, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment the cock crowed. Peter went out and cried bitterly. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his suffering. Let us glorify and exalt his name according to his great mercy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. We've run a bit late, so I'm going to give you a very brief version of the sermon I was going to give you. Um, today, this evening, we read the Gospels of the Paraclete, the Spirit of Truth, the Comforter. So, the question I want to ask you today is this. Does God make our lives comfortable? Is that what it means when we say he's the comforter? Or does he just make our lives comforted? And there is actually a difference between being comfortable and being comforted. And the main thing I want to leave you with tonight is an image. A beautiful image that comes from one of the Psalms that we pray in the prayer before sleeping, Psalm 131. Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. Has the image formed in your head yet? Can have you imagined a mother 
with a, a wean child is like someone who's just stopped breastfeeding. So I don't know how old that would have been, maybe one year old, two years old, something like that. And the little child is crying and anxious and worried and upset. And mum picks him up, puts him in her lap, and gives him a hug. And what happens? I have calmed and quieted my soul. Who does the mother represent in this image? Of course, it's God. And the arms of the mother embracing us. Here I'm going to invoke Saint Irenaeus from the second century, who said that the Son and the Holy Spirit are the two hands of the Father. They are the arms that wrap around us and hold us. Because ultimately Christianity is not so much about an idea, it's not about a teaching, it's not about events, it's about a person and a relationship with that person. And that person has a very big capital P, and that's God, of course. But how do we know God? How do we relate to God? How does God comfort us when we know that no one can see God and live? So what are the arms that God reaches down to us here in the earth to pick us up and to put us in his lap and to hug us? And the Church Fathers loved this phrase that we find God through Christ by the Holy Spirit. We find God through Christ because he came down and became a human being like us. He needed comfort tonight in the Garden of Gethsemane. And did he find it? Yes or no? Yes and no. No, because he went to his disciples and he didn't find any comfort there. They fell asleep. They were too busy with their own weariness and, I don't know, they must have eaten too much at the Last Supper, so they fell asleep. But still, Christ, in spite of the suffering and emotional agony he was going through, was comforted enough to be able to comfort others a few hours later as he looked down from the cross and he spoke to St. Mary and St. John and comforted them and said, Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. He was comforted enough to be able to comfort others, even though he himself was certainly not comfortable, neither in the garden nor on the cross or any time in between was he comfortable. And sometimes that's what we expect from God. We expect God to make us comfortable. And by that we mean, please God, move the world around so that it's exactly where we want everything to be. And God doesn't do that. What God does is he makes us comforted. He picks us up like a child through his two hands, Christ and the Holy Spirit, and lifts us into his lap. Abuna Karas yesterday in his sermon was, was remembering when he was a school child and when you know someone would give him a hard time. Do you remember that? And he'd go home and complain to his parents and his parents would say, oh, I'm going to go and fix that person up. And even if it's the teacher, I'm going to go and give him a piece of my mind and fix them up. God actually comforts us, but not in that way. What God does is he gives us peace, right? As Jesus said in one of the verses, this is in chapter 16. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. Where is the peace to be found? Because I'm going to change the world for you? No, in the world you will have tribulation then where am I going to find peace? Where am I going to find comfort? But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. It's in that personal relationship with Christ that we find our comfort and that we find our peace. 
And he does that because then we can go back out into the world and still find comfort and peace, even in the middle of the trouble and the difficulty that we experience. It's like the parent whose child comes and complains to them, oh, someone is picking on me. And rather than going and threatening the child who's picking, picking on you, they say, let's have a chat about how you can deal with this. And they teach the child that they shouldn't take the bully seriously, that they should be confident in the goodness of their own character and their personality, that they can stand up and say, stop and leave me alone. They teach the child, the parent teaches the child how to deal with the situation rather than going in gung-ho and fixing it for them. And the child feels comforted. Now they know what they need to do. They know how to handle the situation. They know they are supported. They know they are loved. And the child can go and face that situation and deal with it. I think this is what God does for us. This is what Jesus went through in his life on earth. He wasn't comfortable, but he was comforted. This is what the spirit of comfort does in our lives. He doesn't fix all of our problems. We're here in the middle of a pandemic. Many, many people all over the world are praying and saying, please God, let this disease be over. Is it over? Not yet. What's wrong? God can't hear us? Is there not one righteous person in the whole world for God to hear that prayer? No, God is saying, I am not here to make you comfortable. I am here to make you comforted. And that's what we're finding. So many people I've been speaking to in the last couple of weeks are saying, this was hard. It is hard for a lot of people these days are really hard. They are going through all kinds of anxiety for all kinds of reasons and people are depressed and people are feeling isolated. It's hard. But they are also finding God. They are finding, now that they have nothing else to fall back on, no more social life, no more being able to go out and lose myself in doing this or doing that. Now I'm finding I have to turn to God himself. And there is where I discover the true comfort. So this is the comforter, the spirit of truth. He is one of the arms with Jesus who gathers us into the lap of God so that we can calm and quiet our souls and be comforted so that even though our lives are very uncomfortable, inside we have peace that no one can take away. And glory be to God forevermore. Amen. Christ our Saviour came and suffered so that through his passion he may save us. We glorify him and exalt his name. According to his great mercy, he. we ask and entreat you, O Lord God, the Father Almighty and the only begotten Son, the Creator and Benefactor of all, and the Holy Spirit, the life giver, before whom kneels down every creature in heaven and on earth, 
We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. For the sake of the perfect peace and the unity of all the churches of the world and the monasteries and all the holy places and their dwellers and keepers, O God, have pity on your creation and save us from all evil. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You who prepared for the life of man before his creation and made all things with your wisdom and embellished the sky with stars and the earth with vegetation and trees and vineyards and the valleys with shrubs and roses, you now, O our King, accept unto you the prayers of your servants standing between your holy hands, saying, We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Kyrie eleison. O great and holy God, who created man according to your image and to your likeness, and gave him a live and reasoning soul. Have mercy, O Lord, on your creation, which you have created, and have compassion on us, and bestow upon us your mercy from the loftiness of your holiness and your many mansions. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You who saved your servant, the righteous Noah, from the deluge, he and his children and their wives, and also the animals clean and unclean, in order to renew the earth once more, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. You, the creator and benefactor of all, save your people from the deluge of the sea of this world and preserve them and the animals from harm. As for the birds, give them their food, as you give cattle pasture and feed the baby crows. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You who were received as a guest by your servant Abraham, the father of fathers, and sat at his table and blessed his offspring, you now, O our King, accept the prayers of your servants and priests standing between your holy hands and have mercy on the world and save your people from any hardship and dwell in them and accompany them. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. We ask you, O Lord, to guard us from all evil and have pity on your creation and all your people because all people look up unto you and you give them their food in due time. You're the feeder of everybody, the help of the helpless and the hope of the hopeless. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You who looks to the humble with the ever-attentive eyes of your concern, and saved Joseph from his master's wife, and made him king of Egypt and its affairs, and let him pass safely the days of tribulation, till his brethren and his father came to him, and knelt down before him, and took from him wheat, food for their children and their cattle. Likewise, we bow down before you, and kneel down before your hand, and thank you, our Creator and Benefactor, for this condition and in every condition and for all conditions, and pray that you save us from all hardships. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Kyrie eleison. O Lord, the Word of God the Father, the Giver of the Law, the Prophets and the Old Testament, you're the perfection of them all. Save your people from all tribulations and arrange their lives according to your goodwill and 
and save us from famines and calamities. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You who supported the people of Israel for forty years in the desert of Sinai, when they had no houses or stores, you now, my Lord, protect your people and support them and bless their homes and their stores with your heavenly blessings. We ask you, O oh Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Eleison. You who accepted the prayer of Elijah the Tishbite, when the sky rained and the earth gave fruit, and blessed the barrel of meal and the cruise of oil in the house of the widow, Accept the prayers of your people through the intercessions of your holy saints and prophets. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O God, have compassion and pity on the world, and bless their crops and stores and the little that they have. Praise the waters of the rivers according to their measure, and give good temper to the winds. Bless the Nile of Egypt this year and every year, and fill the face of the earth with joy, and sustain us for your people. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. You who accepted the repentance of the people of Nineveh when they all fasted, and accepted the confession of the right thief on the cross, we likewise make us worthy of your acceptance and compassion, in order to cry unto you, saying, Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your glory. Accept the repentance of your servants, their confession, their fasting, their prayers and offerings, which are offered on your holy altars as a good incense, and have mercy on them. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You're the powerful provider, the one who disciplines, the healer, the physician of souls and bodies who examined his servant Job and healed him from his calamity and recompensed him with more than he had. Have mercy on your people and save them from all calamities, tribulations and miseries. O oh, you, the supporter of those who trust in you, we ask you, O oh Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Kyrie eleison. O you, Christ our God, the word of the Father who made a covenant with his holy disciples and washed their feet and made them leaders of believers and guiding lights of religion and satisfaction for hungry souls and taught them prayer, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You, the wonder worker who fed thousands from the five loaves and raised the dead and blessed the wedding at Cana of Galilee, now you, O Lord, bless the bread, the oil, the fruits, the honey, the stores, the trades and the affairs of your servants. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Kyrie eleison. O Lord, save your people and protect them from all sides with the life-giving sign of your cross. Raise the lot of Christians in all the world and soften the hearts of their rulers towards them and their hearts with charity toward the poor and the needy brethren and deliver them from all evil. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who left for us the holy covenant,
covenant of his holy body and blood every day on the altar as bread and wine, transformed by your Holy Spirit and commanded us, saying, Do this in remembrance of me, we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. O Christ our God, have mercy on your people and the descendants of your apostles. Give blessing to the fruit of all the earth and make happy the heart of men by multiplying the fruits of wheat, vines and oil. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who are begotten of the Father and was incarnate of the blameless Virgin Saint Mary in the fullness of time, who said unto his holy apostles, Go, go and preach to the nations and baptize them, and teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Be also with your people who cry unto you, saying, We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. You, the forgiver of sins and the giver of good things, forgive the sins of your people and cleanse them from all uncleanliness and wash them from all deceit, and keep them from bearing false witness and all envy and slander. Take away from their hearts evil thoughts and unbelief and pride and callousness. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Mother of God, you are the fence of our salvation and the impregnable fortress. Bring to naught the counsels of the adversaries and turn the afflictions of your servants into joy. Defend our city and fight for the Orthodox kings and rulers and pray for the peace of the world and the churches. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. You, the God of mercy and compassion and the Lord of consolation, do not be displeased with us nor rebuke us for our evil deeds. or the multitude of our sins, do not be angry with us nor let your anger last forever. Hearken, O you, the God of Jacob, and look, O you, the God of our succor, protect the world from death, scarcity, pestilence, earthquakes, horror, and causes of fear. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. For the sake of our protection under your holy and lofty hands, O God, we ask of you to keep for us the life of his holiness, our Pope Abba Tawadros II, and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, Amber Daniel, institute him in his see for many quiet and peaceful years. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. and your great mercy to keep for us the lives of our fathers, the metropolitans, the bishops and all the clergy and the laity. Multiply the dignity of the clergy, give purity to the deacons, strength to the elders, understanding to the young, chastity to the virgins, Asceticism to the monks and nuns, virtue for those in wedlock and protection for women. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Also raise the fallen, return the travellers safely to their homes. Support the widows and the orphans, give plenty to those in poverty. Those who are in debt, pay their debts for them and forgive them. 
and those who are in distress, give them comfort. Heal the sick and repose the departed. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. O God of our fathers, the saints, do not forsake us nor neglect those whom you created with your holy hands. O you, the merciful, who revealed his love to mankind, except from your mother, intercession on our behalf and save us. You, the Saviour of the humble, do not forget us forever or renounce us unto the end. For the sake of your holy name and your beloved Abraham, your servant Isaac and your saint Jacob, do not break your covenant with us nor deprive us of your mercy. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, hear We were 
worship you, Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you were crucified and saved us. Amen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We proclaim and say, O our Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified on the cross, crushed Satan under our worthy. Save us and have mercy upon us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eflogison, Amin es Rois moe, rois tima tania koni evo Jesus Christ, our true God, who accepted the passion willingly and was crucified on the cross on our behalf, may he bless us with all spiritual blessings, help us and complete for us the holy Pascha, and show us the happiness of his holy resurrection for many years to come. Through the never ending intercessions of the blameless Holy Lady, the Theotokos Saint Mary, and all the choirs of angels and archangels, through the prayers of the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the martyrs, the just and the righteous, the cross bearers, the ascetics, the confessors, and the anchorites, and through the blessings of the Holy Pascha of our Good Saviour. May their holy blessings, their grace, their power, their gift, their love, and their help. Be with us all forever. Amen. Be a Christos ben Nauti. Amen. 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 O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thou is the kingdom, power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the love of God the Father and the grace of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the gift and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Go in peace, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Drive home carefully or walk to your bedrooms carefully and we'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock, bright and early. God bless.